Right, let's, uh, as you can see, we get back to the manual just now. We choose whether we are using LCD or not. If, just now we demonstrate uh, using LCD, now we demonstrate without using LCD, which means we are looking at a computer and typing. Right, and uh, if you choose one, after type a key, you can see there is only a small smiling face on this LCD screen. Right, and uh, actually we are only typing inside the computer. This one, uh, I mean the typing is not just for the Mac software, you can type anything as a, a character input. Let's say if I want to Google NUS, I can just type NUS. Right. Press one key and delete. Press, press again right. and press enter. And it's right, it is done. Uh, I think that's all about the uh, keyboard function. Right, now we back to the main menu. Uh, let's try uh, just now we try the keyboard mode. Let's try the piano mode. Press 2 is piano mode. The song we uh, program inside, inside is uh, the door and the dancing bear. Let's uh, hear the song first. Right. Let's hear the song. Hopefully you can hear something from <laughs> this black box. Right, uh, now we try to play this song. Alright, uh, we uh, pre-program, uh, we program the, the game that uh, will display all the notes for you. And your job is only just to uh, type, type accordingly. Let's say if it, the display is 1, 2, 3, 4, you just need to type 1, 2, 3, 4. And you can hear the song, uh, uh, song accordingly, and you will know uh, back comparison. You will know whether you are typing correct or not. Actually, uh, we program all the, the number keys 1, 2, 0 with uh, uh, the sound tones from Do to some notes. <laughs> yes, and, uh, and this function is just to demonstrate uh, this device is actually capable of uh, doing as a, I mean, work as a musical instrument. Right. As you can see just now, uh, In, into sleep mode again. Right, uh, let's finish this job. As you can see, the actually the key is quite responsive. As the there is not a very obvious time delay. It's almost the real time. Unfortunately, the song is damn long. And, uh, wow, really long.
Right. Yes, as you can see after finish, yes, you can just press NC to exit. Yes, now we are back to the main menu. Now we try to uh, we will demonstrate the last function, the security function. Actually, this device uh, is made for personal use. We hope this device can be uh, used by an uh, individual, right? So uh, every individual will have uh, their own accounts. Uh, yes, we have. Right, and uh, actually they can change their username or password accordingly. Right, let's try to. Yes, uh, this security mode is just for you to change your username or password. Uh, but before that, you have to key in your old password to uh, gain access. Right, let's key in our preset password is all right. Luckily we have one more try. Right, in this menu you are asked whether you want to change your account or not. If you choose no, then you will back to the main menu. If you choose yes, Right, to ask you to uh, key in the new name. The new name will be, let's say, uh, I mean, S S T. And uh, sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. um, you can even tap small letter for username and press Y to continue to uh, confirm right for password right mm -hmm. now we set very simple password again we repeat the password to confirm uh, it's done then let's try go back to the security mode then you can see the name display is already changed and you need to keep tap in your new password to gain access and you will be asked to change your account again right let's choose no and go back to the main menu and uh, that's all about the security function Yo, thank you. <laughs>